Hey guys, uh, Weapons Grade 47 here. Um, today I want to talk a little bit about the uh, 75 round AK-47 mags. Um, there's two style uh, 75 round drums for the AK, the Russian style and the Chinese style. Um, this one right here is a uh, Chinese style uh, drum. Uh, this one's made in Romania. Um, the uh, the Chinese style is the rear, uh, the rear loading style um, clamshell. The Russian style, uh, you load one bullet at a time with a plunger. And there's uh, several advantages that the Chinese style has over the um, the Russian style. So I'm going to show you today the uh, the correct way to load one of these, um, which uh, is actually pretty easy to do, but uh, I haven't found any good videos on YouTube um, showing, you know, the correct way to do this. So, here we go. So, the first thing you want to do is open up the back of the drum here. And inside, you're going to find the spindle, the, uh, the plunger to release the uh, tension off of the uh, spring. And then right here, that's the follower. So, um... You can see the tracks in there, which the uh, the follower pushes the the uh, bullets around, eventually leading up <coughs> leading up to um, the neck of the mag. So um, when I first got this magazine, uh, the the instructions that came with it are actually pretty horrible. Uh, they're like Romanian translated into English and. Um, not very good and uh, the videos I've watched on these things aren't aren't very good as well so first thing you want to do is um, you want to bring the follower back to the starting point and when you do this you want to make sure that you hold the, the plunger down so that um, there's no spring tension created on the follower or the spindle um, because if you if you crank this thing up and uh, it actually it's pretty hard to you know do once you get down to the uh, the starting point. Uh, when you let this go, this uh, spindle is going to spin around and it will it will cut you. Um, so anyway, so this is the starting point. You can see the follower lines up with the left side of the neck of the mag. Um, you can see how it it stops, but it does not lock in, and that's the you know. My big big problem with the instructions that came with it, as, long, as well as the other videos that I've seen, uh, they kind of lead you to believe that it kind of locks in, you can let it go, and uh, if you do that under tension, you're going to get hurt. So, from this point, what I like to do is I like to bring it around one turn, right when it starts getting in on the second track, and you can see these uh, the tracks in there. So, it bumps up one, it's on the middle track now. From this point, what you do is you bring it back to the starting point without the plunger in, and it creates spring tension, but not a lot of spring tension, you know, not as much as if you'd wind the whole thing up. So now we're at the starting point, and um, you can see I'm holding it. Make sure you don't let it go yet. So you want to take two bullets there and there. Um, don't put one in in that little slot right there yet. So now we have we have this, and it's I have one crank around um, one crank around the uh, follower there or the other uh, the, the um, tracks there. So there's a little bit of tension on it. So you want to let it go up into the neck. It will load the neck up. And now at this point, you can continue loading this uh, mag and uh, you're only going to be able to get 73 in and you know it's a 75 round drum so here's how you you know you get those extra two bullets in there so what you want to do you have four bullets in the neck you want to bring the spindle back so you can get these last two out and you want to bring it back to the starting point right there and now you take those bullets Put them back in the first slot and feed them back up to the neck. So now 
you can just rock and roll and uh, load load this thing up. And I find it easy if you take two at a time. Um, that way, so you know you don't get them canned in there or anything like that. So I'm gonna load this up. And of course, these uh, these drums came out for the RPK, which has interchangeable magazines. With the AK-47, the RPK is basically just a beefed up AK, same uh, action, just, you know, a little bit of a um, thicker receiver, thicker barrel, and, um, you know, it's a smart thing to have all the mags interchangeable. So, um, these mags are a lot of fun. Um, you know, they're one of those things, it's kind of get them while you can because who knows you know what the future is going to hold as far as you know these things getting banned and all that um they're kind of expensive though this one cost me about a hundred dollars which uh, you know for one uh, magazines you know it's a lot but it's pretty unique it's pretty cool it's a lot of fun so um when i first got this mag um I kind of rushed into it, kind of just wanted to get it loaded up, and I, you know, started playing with it, and it bit me, which is, you know, it, it cut, cut my fingers and my thumbs pretty deep, so, you know, it's real important that you kind of know what you're doing. Uh, the video I watched on this, the guy clearly didn't know what he was doing, and that's the one I chose to watch. And it wasn't good. Uh, these Chinese style drum mags, um, they have, you know, they're pretty, pretty good in the fact that you can, um, you can actually take the tension uh, off the spring, and that way you can keep, uh, you can keep this loaded indefinitely, um, because it's not, it's not going to hurt it to keep it loaded. So anyway, so um, I have the magazine loaded except for four four rounds, which go right in this slot. So now at this point, uh, the easiest thing to do is hit the button and get that tension off. And now there's no tension, and uh, you can load these last two in there, which I always I don't know why, but I always sometimes have trouble when it's when it's cranked up so there we go so now this magazine's fully loaded and uh, shut the uh, cover here and there you go it's loaded no tension on the spring which is uh, really good because you know obviously you know with like a 30 rounder or whatever it's uh, you're gonna hurt the spring by keeping it loaded like that so what I like to do if I'm going to be storing this for a while, I like to push these bullets on the neck down just a little, little bit because there is a little spring, um, you know, a little spring piece of metal right here. So there we go. So you can see um, that little spring right in there. And if you do that, you'll keep, you know, you'll keep the pressure off that. So you can, you know, I don't, I don't like to keep pressure on that so I'm worried that's gonna wear out but it probably won't so when you're ready to shoot it turn the um, the key until you hear it click there so now at this point you want four complete turns and um, what I like to do is just count an eight so you know one count for every half turn so one two three four five six seven eight so now you got the mag it's ready to go and um you know, so you pull the trigger, or you rack one in there. Let me see if I can get this out without hurting myself, which I can't. 
Um, so anyway, so there you go. So let's say you have it wound up. You don't want to shoot it that day. Open it up, hit the button. Now all the tension's off the mag again. Um, to unload it, all you do You know, dump it out. That's it. You know, probably, you know, in my opinion, these uh, these drums, you know, they're, they're really uh, a good option. You know, as far as, you know, if you want to keep a loaded magazine laying around, you don't have to worry about, uh, you know, ruining it by keeping it loaded. Um, if I ever do keep uh, magazines loaded for my AR or anything like that, I keep only maybe 15 in there and a 30 round mag. Um, you know, so you don't have to worry about the spring. Now, to load these up, we're running out of time here. To load these up with less than uh, less than 75 rounds, all you do is bring the follower up, and you can back it off. We'll say you want to put 10 in there. Just back back it up, and make sure that the follower is you know right behind the, the rounds you want to load. Put them in there. Don't load these these uh, holes when you do this. Just load these notches and don't load it. You know, don't load it like that. So, six, eight. So now we got ten rounds in, and you can actually turn this crank, this little paddle here, paddle here, and. Um, just to get some pressure on there. And now you can shoot, you know, 10 rounds out of this thing. Or you can shoot, you know, however many you want out of it. Just by loading it like that, you can kind of just go back, um, follow, you know, just put them up right behind the follower like that. And just, you know, you can put however many you want in. Um, maybe for 10 rounds, you might want to, you know, turn the key, you know, maybe two times. You know, uh, maybe three times for 30, uh, four times for 75, or around that area. Uh, the one thing you want to remember is do not over crank it because then it won't work and you run the risk of uh, breaking it. Also, if you do load it less than uh, 75 times, you want to make sure that, you know, you don't, you know, skip the slot right by the follower because that could break the mag when it you know jumps that space it could hurt the, hurt the follower um, these are really great mags uh, real heavy duty um, just you know looks good stuff you can see how I actually don't have a lot of tension on that but you know you can see how they just come right out of there Good stuff. So, anyway, I'm running out of time here. Uh, weapons grade uh, 47. Uh, check me out. Thanks, guys.